Hello all, welcome to my YouTube channel for service now hacks. Let's get started. In this video, the topic which I'm picking is how to save your ITIL licenses if the person is not having you know, any role to uh, write a, any role to update the ticket or you know working on the ticket, but he wants to view entire dashboard kind of things for incident table, RF table, uh, you know, request management, change management, problem management. So in that case, some cases we are you know we are forced to give the ITL licenses to them even for leadership management and the person who is into operations completely and you know he wants to see overall the ticket information but he doesn't want a right access then also we are you know giving him the ITL licenses which is a license consumed one uh, I'm going to showcase you how uh, exactly we can avoid that by giving the other you know role which we can create within service now now the first step is uh, if you go to uh, underscore user underscore underscore role dot list in this uh, the first step is you will get to know how exactly service now is calculating licenses suppose if you have itl role see we have 55 users as a itil uh, role here uh, we'll take one example suppose if this person user itil uh, role doesn't want this itl access but he want this uh, you know role for reporting purpose however we have given him a itl role only so let's impersonate with this guy and we'll see what and all access he has then we'll give we'll create a custom role with only the read access to him and we will see what exactly he will get where is there any changes he will get there now if we look at any dashboard i'll open a simple dashboard which he has access incident overview or itl dashboard let me open this itl dashboard see he has access to critical task sla breached and other data is not available and also if i go to incidents and all incident he can able to see all 75 incidents within you know his group because since he has a itl role right so similarly for change management also if you go for change he can able to see all 103 changes similar to the problem and everywhere basically since he has itl access he can able to see everything right so let's end the impersonation so for this what i'm going to do is you can go to roles and here we need to create a custom role because specifically service now doesn't have a you know uh, read access to the different different table because if you want to read access to the incident table it has an sn incident read similarly for rf request read change read problem read like that we have a role but combining that we don't have a particular role so i'm creating a you know custom role here you read only access then i'm just saving this within this you can have contain roles in this you can add multiple roles only with respect to read roles nothing else so if i search with the read roles say i'll get lot many roles right first i'll add cmdb read role this is basically giving the access to cmdb tables even some of the users tables right and we have change read problem read then we have incident also let me type in <coughs> incident read
request read and these all are the role we have right so i'll just save this you see all these contains roles are automatically added now now what we will do we will give him a access the user which i have opened just now The best practice is always you create a group, assign the role to that group. Then you have to you know, uh, give that group to the user. That is the best practice. Uh, but for giving this, you know, for showing to you guys, I'm not creating a group. I'm just adding a role to the person directly. So as per the best practice, please you guys create a group. Then you assign this uh, role to that group and hand over that groups to the particular person. See, we have got all the read access to him now. So now let's impersonate again with his ID. Now let me reload this see he can able to see all 75 uh, tickets incidents change and if i open any incident he can able to see all the you know change change task everything right so even if the if he has incident see he can able to open that incident and wave it wave it in self-service view or default view all the options he'll be having and one more thing is dashboard when we go to dashboard see this dashboard is accessible to him and uh, you see all the details are visible to him also so when the person doesn't need itl role and you are giving him a itl role only for viewing the dashboard or viewing the entire ticket platform ticket and he doesn't want he is not you know working on any tickets then you can create a role like this read only role and specific to that you can give all the read access to them and you can remove him a itl access by this way you can save the itl licenses additionally suppose uh, now currently see he has access to the incident and he also has a new access some fields are editable if you create some custom fields are editable and he want a complete read only access along with you know these read roles right he can these specific read roles will give him a uh, access to the tables and fields all the tables and fields by default we have a acl for all this you don't need to create any acl here it's just a role you will have to create and additionally if you want to if you want him to not to edit anything entire within entire platform then we have one of the out of the box role uh, i if you, if i want to showcase that See, this is the role SNC read only. This role specifically says users with SNC read only role are prevented from creating, updating, or deleting the record in the database. The read access determined by ACL. ACL is already there by default. If we give this role, no. So for the particular member who you doesn't want to edit anything even but he just want to view entire thing but he doesn't want to edit anything then additionally you'll have to give that snc read only role so that if i impersonate he'll not even get new update delete anything so by this way you can restrict the particular person for updating or deleting the record and also for Creating this role will help you to uh, get him the, all the read type of roles, right? If I open incident, see now new button is completely gone. Even if I click on all, all the tickets are coming, but the new button is completely gone. And if you open this ticket, he can able to view entire ticket, but nothing he can you know 
view. In the default view also, I'll show it to you. The entire information he can able to view, but with the read only, complete read only. Since we have given him an additional role light, SNC read only role, this is the role. So you can use this role even suppose the one more information I want to share. Suppose the person has ITIL access. He has right access to everywhere. But as soon as you give this role, this will pre this will take a first precedence. Even if he has right access, that will be prevented, you know, by not viewing updating the tickets to the particular user as soon as you give this role. If you give this role, even if he has right access, that will be stopped automatically so ensure you are giving this role to the users whoever is not a not you know uh, want to update the ticket or create or delete the any anything within the service now but he wants to view the entire thing so by this one role will help you to create you know help you to uh, for your saving uh, ITL licenses, another role will help you to, you know, make the complete read only platform itself will go read only for him so that he cannot update anything. So by this way, you can save your ITL licenses and, you know, you can create a custom role. And, uh, you know, this is within the complaints, you will not get any, you know, uh, complaints issue because this is the by default ACLs are also available out of the box, you're not going to create any ACL. And and you know, only the custom role is required. So that's it for this video. Uh, thank you all. If you are liking our videos, please uh, subscribe this video and uh, follow for more videos. Thank you.